Hello, my name is Aaron Roth. I'm the site manager for Fort Sumner Historic Site, Bosque Redondo Memorial. I'm coming to you live from my home in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. I am now going to remove my mask as I am in my home and I'm adhering to COVID safe practices. Hello, my name is Aaron Roth. I'm the manager for Fort Sumner Historic Site, Bosque Redondo Memorial. Welcome to our first special program titled Recipes of Remembrance where we share written history, oral histories, and also a recipe that you can make from home. Our first recipe of this series is titled Slimfast Coffee. But first, let's learn a little of the site history. The mission of Fort Sumner Historic Site, Bosque Redondo Memorial, is to respectfully interpret the history of the Diné and Inde during the United States government's campaign of ethnic persecution in the 1860s. During this time, now referred to as the Fearing Time, or the Long Walk Period. Both tribes were forced to march to the one million acre Bosque Redondo Indian Reservation. At the center of this reservation was Fort Sumner, also known as Huelde, or the Place of Suffering. This concentration camp was truly a place of suffering where the people struggled daily to survive due to mistreatment, starvation, disease, and exposure. At Fort Sumner, crops failed yearly, and as a result, the two tribes were dependent on rations distributed by the United States government. Ration quantities vary throughout the reservation's operation, but were typically eight ounces of meat, which were salted pork, beef, bacon, or mutton, whichever was available, and 12 ounces of cornmeal or white flour. Occasionally, some salt, sugar, or coffee beans were provided, depending on supply trains. Most tribal members did not know how to prepare these foods, but through intense cultural interactions with soldiers and Spanish settlers, the people found a way. Now that we have learned a little of the site history, I would like to focus a little more on coffee to talk about how this recipe evolved. Coffee beans, when they were given to the Diné and the Inde, were generally unground and unroasted. At first, beans were consumed raw, but after interactions with the soldiers and the settlers, the Diné and the Inde learned to process and make use of the beans for a unique beverage. A lot of our information that we share comes directly from the people most affected by this history. We hear this information through oral stories or oral histories. I would like to take this opportunity to share an oral history that was shared with Ms. Marianne Cortezi, who's the president of the Friends of the Bosque Redondo Memorial, while she was giving a tour to a group of visitors one day at the memorial itself. One of the visitors, a Navajo Army veteran, offered a story to explain how his family uh, used rations. And he stated, I was raised by my grandmother on the homeland. When I joined the armed forces, I was ultimately deployed overseas. I felt sorely homesick and missed my grandmother greatly. To overcome his homesickness, he further explained, that one day I went to the commissary cooks and asked him if he could make something for me because he was feeling so homesick. The cook asked, what can I make for you? And he responded, Slimfast coffee. The veteran explained that the cook was immediately puzzled and asked, well, what's in it? The veteran further explained, it is called Slimfast coffee because my grandmother kept her coffee beans in a Slimfast can. But essentially what you do is you mix bacon fat and white flour together in a hot pan and you make a roux. Um, Then a strong cup of coffee is poured over the mixture until it becomes thick. Then you add sugar to taste. The cook was still puzzled uh, and asked the veteran, why does your grandmother drink her coffee that way? The veteran paused and said, my grandmother said that her grandmother told her, this is how we drank it at Bosque Redondo in order to survive when there was nothing. Now, several years later, when I was a ranger and I was giving a similar talk to another group of people, another Navajo man pulled me aside 
And he said, we still make that dish. He said, only we don't call it SlimFast coffee. We actually call it coffee pudding on account that it becomes so thick that you eat it with a spoon. So this is where our recipe today comes from. Now let's talk about the recipe. You will need the following items for this recipe. High fat bacon, white flour, strong coffee, and white sugar. During our cooking portion, I would like to introduce Ms. Alexis Cordova Roth, who has graciously transcribed the Slumfast coffee recipe from the Navajo oral tradition. Hi, my name is Alexis Cordova Roth. We're here in my kitchen today, and I'm here to walk you through the making of Slimfast coffee, which was shared with our site through a Navajo oral history. First thing we're gonna do is make about 10 to 12 cups of brewed coffee. Now that our coffee is brewed, we have about 10 to 12 cups of brewed strong coffee here. I have two strips of thick cut bacon that I cut in half so it'd fit better in the pan. I'm gonna be putting in a fourth a cup plus one tablespoon of flour. We have four tablespoons of sugar here. I have a wooden spoon, a whisk, and a tablespoon. I also have a medium saucepan here, which we're gonna be using. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna turn our heat onto a medium high heat, don't be shy. And we're gonna take our bacon strips and we're just gonna lay them in the pan to start sizzling. Now, if you have a bigger saucepan than this, you can just add some more bacon. We're just gonna render this down till we get enough fat to cover the bottom of this saucepan. That's all we're really wanting for this recipe. So you can adjust it if you have a bigger pan. Now that our bacon is looking pretty cooked, the fat is pretty much rendered out of the bacon. So you have a good a layer of fat at the bottom of the pan. We're gonna take our bacon out. And you see that? bacon fat there at the bottom, that's what we want, just a nice layer down there. So we're gonna put these to the side and we're gonna load, we're gonna go in with our flour. So we're gonna start with a fourth a cup. You're just gonna see a nice sizzle and we're just gonna incorporate this, okay? Right in. And what you want to do is take your wooden spoon and you just want to get all those bits from the bottom. So we're just going to mix this all in. Just get this incorporated. I scraped all the bits off the bottom and it gives it a nice color. Now we're just going to cook this right on down. So this is the consistency you want. It's a little bit thick, not too thick, and not too thin, okay? So as you're pouring your fourth a cup of flour, just pour it a little bit at a time. So you can just keep mixing it, see if the consistency is right, because this is the consistency you want. Depending on the size of pot you have, you may need the whole fourth cup flour. And maybe if it's a little smaller than a medium, you might not need as much. So just pour it in slowly until you get a mixture that looks like this. Now we're just gonna let this cook down and get a peanut buttery brown color. Okay, so this has been cooking for a few minutes. It looks nice and brown, a peanut buttery brown like we talked about. And we're just gonna give it one final mix with our wooden spoon to make sure we have all the bits up from the bottom of the saucepan. We're gonna turn our heat down just a little bit and we're going to add our coffee. And just whisk. While you mix in the coffee, we're gonna mix in about five cups or so just to start. And we're really just gonna whisk it. And it's gonna start to thicken up and get really nice and glossy. This is really what you want right here. Okay, and it's gonna get a little bit thicker. You just want it to look glossy. And we're just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, now I said 10 to 12 cups, but just add it a little bit at a time 
Some people like it thicker and some people like it a little thinner. So you choose. If you want it a little thicker, don't add as much coffee. If you want it just a little bit thinner, maybe to drink it in a cup, then you can just add a little bit more coffee. It's all up to you. So now we're just gonna give this a minute to cook down. Now we can see that it's coming up to a little bit of a boil. So we're just gonna let that boil for a couple of minutes just to cook out and get really nice and combined. So we're just gonna keep whisking while this is cooking out. And we're just gonna let that go for another three to five minutes. Okay, so now that we've been simmering for a few minutes, I'm just gonna add a little bit more coffee just to thin it out just a little bit because we are gonna be putting these in mugs and enjoying them that way. Okay, that looks perfect to me. We're just gonna scrape the sides. Now what we're gonna do is add our sugar. I have four tablespoons of sugar here that I'm gonna add. Of course, you can add more or less, whatever fits your taste. Mix it around just until it's dissolved in the SlimFast coffee. Okay, now let's turn off our burner and we're done. Thank you everyone for joining us for this episode of Recipes of Remembrance. Thank you to all of our supporters out there and thank you for tuning in. And tune in next week for our next episode. Here's to remembering. Cheers. Cheers.